Tell me if this sounds familiar. You watch a cool YouTube video about a new to you technique, you get super excited and you buy all the products. The products finally show up at your doorstep and then it's two months later and they still sit there. Well, it's time to put an end to this. The last time this happened to me was with my gel plates and my dilution paint. I had seen all the cool techniques and I wanted to do something really special with them. I was so excited with these products, I wanted to get it absolutely right. I wanted to have everything figured out, I wanted to have the perfect project for them and that just never seemed to happen. And you know when this stopped? When I finally let go of my perfectionism and of wanting to get everything right before I even had put those paints to paper for the first time. Art journaling was the perfect setting for me because mixed media is so forgiving and so freeing and like my friend Ingrid says, if you make a mistake you just paint over it and start all over again. So I just sat down, grabbed my supplies and I started playing. Literally, like when I was a kid. I picked colors that I love and a theme that inspires me and I just started adding paints to the plate. I rolled my brayer for the first time and seeing those color mix was just so much fun. I wasn't worrying about the project, I wasn't thinking about the end result, I was just enjoying every single step on its own. And then the time came to pull my first ever print. And if you think that masking is magical, you need to give this technique a try because trust me, it is so cool. I was using collage paper and to be honest, I wasn't really sure it was going to work, but you know what? It held up amazingly and it is just so fun and rewarding to experiment with craft supplies. I then started tearing the paper into pieces and I used it to create the background for my art journal page and this is when my creative juices really started to flow. I had finally overcome that block that I had towards my craft supplies and I had freed myself of the limitations that my own perfectionism had imposed onto me. At this point I could have gone on forever, I was completely in the zone. I then started building on that background, I toned it down with a little bit of gesso just to push it a little bit backwards and then I started creating my snowfall, first with a white gloss spray and then with some stenciled snowflake and some glitter texture paste. I was really loving this wintry frosty feel for my art journal so I decided to add a few more snowflakes and this time I die cut some out of white cardstock. I glued the die cut snowflakes to my art journal and then I made them the star of the show. I coated everything with some multi-medium matte and then I outlined the snowflakes with a Faber-Castell pit pen. This is a really fun technique which I've seen used in a lot of art journal videos and I used it also to create a frame around my art journal page and to add a few pops of color in the center as well. For my quote, I was clearly inspired by a Christmas song. I really love listening to them. They make me all warm and fuzzy. And every time I look at this art journal, this song just plays in my head. And I bet it's playing in your head too. I really love this art journal page. And you know what? Not because I think it's pretty, which I think it does, but because it helped me overcome my own limitations and gave me a great feeling of accomplishment. And I feel the same every time I look at it. Well, it's your turn now. Let me know in the comments down below which craft supply you dread using and then just go ahead and create something with it, even just a tag. Trust me, you will feel great. If you're looking for more inspiration for your art journals, here's my first ever art journal page, so I think it will be beginner friendly too. And here's some more Christmas inspiration for you because you know, tick tock, tick tock. As always, thank you all so much for stopping by and have a great day.